Now the test, once it was um, designed, would look something like this. Um, obviously there'd be more shapes, but the kids would have to load the Google SketchUp um, project, and then they would basically have to um, move their way around the different shapes and measure them. So it would be as simple as selecting the measuring tool and finding a shape, selecting where they want to measure to and from, and then if you look down here, you see that it's 2.72 meters. So they'd write that down, they'd obviously work out the other side, and they could work out basically that's 2.95 meters, and based on those figures, they could then go ahead and work out both the area and the perimeter. Now, obviously, um, these shapes and these shapes here would be the same. Um, they'd obviously just use different formulas. You could work out the area of these and these. These shapes here, because they're raised, um, students could also work out the heights of them, and based on those heights could also work out not only perimeter and area, but they could also work out um, volume. Now, it's as simple as drawing, selecting whichever shape you want to do, and basically drawing it, and then if you want to raise it, it's very simple to do, and, and those shapes could be as limitless, or limitless as many possibilities you possibly could imagine, uh, like this composite shape here, which would be, again, a little bit harder for the kids to use, to measure, because they actually have to measure a variety of different sides to work out the area and the volume, and that's basically my idea of a test. Now, I guess the second part of this would be not giving the kids shapes that they would um, have to navigate, but giving them a set of uh, instructions, so you could basically say to them, I want you to draw in a new Google SketchUp um, project, 10 shapes. The first shape would b need to be 1.5 meters by 2.3 meters, and then the kids would actually have to go about drawing the shapes, and then that could be also a part of um, a part of the test. And rather than giving them the measurements of the different shapes, you could actually say, I want you to make a shape that is um, four meters squared, and they would have to obviously work out what um, what the, the measurements would need to be to make a shape that was 4 metres squared. So really, really interesting way to do a math test and I'm very much looking forward to getting back after the holidays and giving my kids a math test inside Google SketchUp and seeing how much they enjoy it because I can tell you now they certainly enjoy using the program by itself and I'm, I'm almost certain they'll enjoy doing it as a variation to a test.